Hey, I'm making some holiday shots. Wanna try? I've mixed a ton of intricate cocktails using different kinds of techniques on this channel, but sometimes I just wanna drop all that shit and make a good easy shot and down it in one sip. So let's do that. You can enjoy these shots not only at Christmas, but rather any time of the year. They are both refreshing and warming at the same time. And the first shot is Bazooka Joe. By the way, don't pay much attention to the titles. Most of these were invented in the 80s, and you can find completely different cocktails with the same name. I know like four recipes for this one in particular. If you're making a couple shots, as you should always do, so not to drink alone, it's much easier to make a premix, and that's what I'm going to do. So in the mixing glass, or you can use a shaker, Add one part of Irish cream liqueur. I'm using Baileys, but it can be any emulsified liqueur like Carolans, Brogans, Wild Africa, Amarula, there are loads of them nowadays. Banana liqueur. Or you can use melon, depends on your preferences. Personally, I prefer to use whatever I have on my shelf, and that is actually both of them. Let's go with banana. One part. The third and final liqueur I'm using is Blue Curacao. One part. If you can find a nice tasting blue curacao, good for you. It's going to add not only the color, but also a nice orange flavor to the drink. If not, that's okay too, the color will still be there. Fill the mixing glass with ice and stir to chill and dilute. You can shake this cocktail instead, but why would you want to dilute it even more? I mean, it's already pretty weak with not one spirit in it, so shaking it doesn't make much sense to me. Strain the cocktails to the shots. And this is how you make Bazooka Joe. <sighs> Smooth, tasty, like a mini liquid dessert. It's not overly sweet though, thanks to dilution, but if you want it to be a little bit stronger and sweeter, put your bottles to the fridge and skip the stirring whatsoever. The next one is called Pink Passion. Judging by its title, you'd think that'd be passion fruit in some shape or form in it. But no, there isn't. In reality, it's kind of twist on the margarita, so you should definitely shake this one. And to the shaker, we're gonna add tequila blanco, one ounce, 30 milliliters. Triple sec or Cointreau, two thirds of an ounce, 20 milliliters. Freshly squeezed lime juice, two thirds of an ounce, 20 milliliters. And grenadine syrup, about five milliliters or one teaspoon. You can use agave syrup or rich simple syrup, which is one part water to two parts sugar, but then your pink passion would not be pink. Fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this comment. Fine strain to the shot glasses and a dash of orange bitters on top, as you should always do with your sour cocktails. Add bitters on top and not in the shaker, that way it gives your drink a nice aroma. And this is how you make Pink Passion. <sighs> this one is on the sour side, pretty refreshing and goes down smoothly, despite the alcohol content of like 25%. Next one, the Alabama Slammer. As someone mentioned in the comments, of course the base state would have the best shot, and it is a great shot indeed. It consists of four ingredients, some of them perhaps not the most common in your nearest grocery store, but it's a very tasty and festive shot. I'm going to make a premix using a stirring glass, to which I'm gonna add slow gin. Those who watch my videos know that it's not a gin, but rather a gin-based liqueur, flavored with slow berries, and the alcohol content of about 26%. In my case, it's also spiced slow gin, which adds extra flavors to the cocktail, but you can use regular slow gin for sure. One part goes to the mixing glass. Amaretto. Everybody and their grandma knows this almond flavor liqueur, which we also need one part of. Then we're gonna need orange juice. I prefer using freshly squeezed juice, because it has a little bit of sourness to it. One part. And the last, but most important ingredients is one of two liqueurs, Southern Comfort or Drambouille. These are different, but kind of similar spiced whiskey liqueurs, 35-40% to 40 ABV. The main difference being that Southern Comfort is from New Orleans and is made using American whiskey, while Drambouille is from Scotland and is made with real whiskey. <laughs> One part. Fill the mixing glass with ice and stir it thoroughly. Strain to the shot glasses. And this is how you make Alabama Slammer. <sighs> Love this one. 
It's on the sweeter side, so a little bit of acidity from orange juice helps. My favorite shot today, but I haven't finished making them yet. The last one is Short Island Iced Tea. I created this one myself with my friend, but uh, it's more of a joke than a real twist. Basically, it's a mini version of a timeless cocktail classic, the Long Island Iced Tea. It has all the same variety of alcohol and it's definitely easier to make a premix in the mixing glass or in a shaker, just as I did with other cocktails. However, it's more fun to make it right in the shot glasses. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna use this bar spoon and to the shots we're gonna add vodka, one spoon, white rum, one spoon, tequila blanco, one spoon, dry gin, one spoon, triple sec, one spoon, freshly squeezed lemon juice, one bar spoon. Stir a little using a bar fork, have you seen such a thing? And top up with cola. Garnish with a teensy bit of lemon. And this is how you make Short Island iced tea. <sighs> Just like my mama used to make. Of course, it's easier and better to mix several portions at once in the stirring glass or in the shaker and pour them into the shots. But where's the fun in that? That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos like this one about the real historical version of the Long Island iced tea or this one about how to start a home bar. Or you know, other videos. There are a lot of videos on my channel. You can check them all. Hit like, subscribe to my YouTube, Patreon, Instagram, YouTube membership, all that stuff. Bye-bye.